Our first time getting passports so that we could legally cross into other countries was a breeze. The second time, more of a educational. Let's go down that road. Looking like fall in Wisconsin. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we are going to talk to you today about passports and the differences between when we did it 10 years ago. Well, not even 10 years ago. That's part of the educational part and what it was like this time. So whether you're thinking about getting a passport to go into another country across the sea or just across the north or south borders, <laughs> you're gonna wanna watch this video. This is part of the John Muir Trail, one of them, and you can check out more pictures on our Facebook page for this if you wanna see some beautiful scenery. But we just thought we were looking for a quiet place to do this and everywhere we've been so far has not been quiet. So we're trying this now going down by the lake and see what happens. I'll show you the lake. This is Ennis Lake. On our Facebook page, I did a lot of pictures of going around this lake as well as another trail that we were on. Pretty place. So like we said earlier, the first time getting our passports was a breeze. And the reason we got them was because our daughter and son-in-law were moving to British Columbia, BC. That's the province that's above California, Oregon, Washington state on the Pacific side of the United States. And we traveled with them. Gary was in the Penske truck <laughs> with our son-in-law and I was in the car with our daughter and the two dogs at that time and we had a great time up there that that time and then we went back up for some babies and we went back up for other things that there was one that was a sad time and we were there for about five weeks that's when we lost our our baby granddaughter shortly after she was born within about three hours she was baptized and then we just loved on her for about well, until she passed away. We were expecting it, um, but and we were really glad to be able to be there at that time for that. And then about a year later, we were out there again, and this time our daughter had complications again after the baby was born, and we were there for almost three months. That was our maiden voyage into Canada with our RV home. Uh, the other times we went up by car or, or flew in by airplane. It's a very important thing for us to have the passports. It's not something that we do just for a vacation kind of thing or just to see another country. It's because our family is there. And it has now been two and a half years since we've seen them because of COVID. <sighs> so anyway, hoping that we can get in, to, in there in the spring. There are a lot of issues at the border. There are issues with campgrounds for Americans. The fact that you can, yes, you can go into Canada, but Canadians cannot come into the United States yet. That keeps getting changed every month. So if there's still a lot of problems up there, we're hoping that by spring things will be ironed out and everything will be a more smooth sailing to go through. As we were talking about our plans to go back to see family in Canada, uh, just happened to be checking out requirements for passports and notice there's a six-month rule. It says some countries will not let you enter if your passport will expire within six months of your travel. Be sure that others traveling with you check their expiration dates. Our website is travel.state.gov and describes each country's requirements. So that means that the passports that are supposed to be good for 10 years... Which they are. Yeah. Ours would have expired in April of 2022. And they may have let us into the country, or at the border, they may have said, 
no, you'll have to get new passports. Well, then we found out that there's a big delay in renewing passports and that it would take up to maybe several months to get your passports back. Now we are nine months from our current ones expiring. But this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> when you are renewing your passport, you have to surrender your current passport. So even if we could have gone in this fall, we would have met the six month requirement because it would have been about nine months before it would have expired. But in order to get the passports back in time for the renewal, you had to send the old ones in with your application for a new one. So we were, in essence, passportless. As far as where you want to get your passports taken care of, we really recommend going to the U.S. Post Office for everything. We went to a pharmacy retail establishment. I'm not going to name it because it could have just been that particular store. But they had us standing under a fluorescent light. I mean, like directly under it. So we had shadows on our faces. And um, it was in the line of traffic for customers. So we were constantly getting interrupted while they were trying to take our picture. I thought, that is so weird. And then when we got them, they didn't look very good. And you can't smile anymore either, which made us look like criminals. We still look like criminals in our, our passport. The, even the pictures that we did have done that we did send in, they looked awful. But that's the new rule. You can't smile for your passports anymore. You have to look like a criminal. So anyway, <laughs> in the beginning, we were told it would take about eight weeks. To get them back and we thought golly that's just about the time we're going to get, be getting ready to leave if we choose to leave Wisconsin this this fall which we still haven't made a final decision on that yet and our next video we will tell you about our decision of what we're going to do so make sure you subscribe <laughs> so that you know what we're planning on doing I'm gonna to have to check and make sure I'm subscribed because I really want to know <laughs> yeah Okay, when we got our pictures taken then and, and had everything processed, we did it all through the post office. They had a designated area where we could get our pictures taken that was away from any customers or anything like that. It was, the lighting was much better. They turned out much better. We got our money back at the other one. It's $15 per person for your pictures to be taken at most places. And then, um, and then it was uh, $100 I think it was just an even hundred. Yeah, a hundred dollars per person to renew your passports, which is about what it cost almost ten years ago. So it really hasn't gone up a lot, and that part was good. You can send in whatever picture you want with your passport renewal or application. However, if it doesn't meet their requirements, they will send the picture back to you, and it'll take another eight to twelve to. 16 to 24. Well, I'm going to go into okay. that. It could take even longer to get them back. Yeah. We mailed in everything, dotted the I's, crossed the T's. She double checked everything. Everything was done the way it was supposed to. Our checks went in, our pictures, criminal looking pictures, went in the envelope. Our original passports went in the envelope that don't expire until April 2022. And we uh, sent it off. And we got a tracking number. So I kept checking the tracking number and it showed that it was in Pennsylvania. After several weeks, it was mailed three day priority. Well, it was t it, nothing was showing up. It just kept showing that it was in transit, in transit. And it was like, what's taking so long? It was about three weeks, and it was just showing that it was always in Pennsylvania, but it didn't say anything about where or what was going on. So Gary did some checking. You can go to U.S. Passport Tracking and then enter information, and it'll take you to the place that shows where your 
passport is. Well, Which, it showed that uh, the check had been received and all the other information and the check had been cashed. I think we found that out by going to the bank or, or looking at be. our bank that statement. Be, yeah. Oh, well, it's been cashed. Who cashed it? <laughs> So it was, from what we could tell, it was in process, which doesn't tell you much. It didn't really say that it was at the passport place, though. It just said that it was in Pennsylvania. It didn't give an address. It didn't give a location. So we weren't sure what was going on. Three weeks after we mailed them, we went back to that same post office and talked to the same person who waited on us before. And she said, wow, okay, well, first of all, we don't guarantee three-day. <laughs> And um, then she took down our phone number and she asked us, when do we need these by? And we said, by the end of September. I mean, that was really counting, cutting that kind of close, but we would stick around at least that long so that we could get them. So she wrote all that down. And then Gary signed up to get tracking information from the passport place. He never got any updates. He had to keep manually going back in to check. And it never gave us any updates on anything. Well, it kept showing an update on how long it could take. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and it, then it went from eight weeks to 12 weeks. Ah, <laughs> then it went from 12 weeks to 16 weeks that we could expect it to take to get our passports back. This is not turning out to be a quiet place. <laughs> we are running into people. There's a road behind us. The cars keep going by and everything, and they might interfere with the noise level on this. So, alrighty. Anyway, <laughs> you think making videos is easy. There's we, another car coming. There's another car coming. <laughs> while we were waiting for updates and while we were waiting for our passports and it was getting later and later and we were now into September and we were getting, it's like nothing was happening. It was like, oh, are they going to come in time? What are we going to do? And um, we read an article about the U.S. Post Office saying that they are expecting delays in all mail now, mostly due to shortage of helpers. And so if you need a job, go apply. Uh, <laughs> I was about ready to <laughs> to find out where our passports were. And this is even without the tax season or holiday season or anything like that, that they're already having delays. So that's something else you may want to keep in mind for if you're mailing in packages or any letters or anything that need to get someplace in timely fashion. We use Gary's mom's address as our legal address. And because we were getting ready to leave at least the area for now, we thought she was going to have to mail them to us somewhere, wherever we happened to be. And we were kind of fretting about that too. When lo and behold, on the 30th of September, <laughs> nine weeks, <laughs> they came. Yay! Happy days. <laughs> but our old ones are coming under a separate mailing and they have not come yet and that makes me a little nervous because they're good until April 2022 so we're going to pray that they don't fall into the wrong hands in the meantime um, I mean Gary and I are not unique looking people so <laughs> yes you are <laughs> the date for our new passports is September of 31 2031. But we know that in reality, we have about uh, nine years and uh, three months before we have to think about getting them renewed again. And that's currently the way things are. Who knows what it'll be in nine years. But we're just happy we finally got them. That was wonderful. And we feel so much better and when the old ones come back to Gary's mom's, then she'll just hang on to them and for keepsakes. They were really good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> the big disappointment was that in the whole time we had those passports and all the times we went into Canada, we never once got a stamp. 
we had to move again just to finish this up. <laughs> Goodness, we're getting our exercise. We weren't going to do a trail today because we've done quite a few of these already and it looks like it's going to rain, so we didn't want to get wet. Get wet. <laughs> yeah, which we may still if we don't get this video done pretty soon. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're not going to wait for the old passports to come. Maybe they'll come on the day that we're getting ready to leave. Um, and we'll hopefully have them in our hands. But if not, um, Gary's mom will take care of them for us. It may have helped for us to go to the post office and bring that to their attention and tell them that we needed to have them by a specific date, which... You know, we don't know if that's what did it. It also might be that the eight weeks was when we applied and that the 12 weeks would be for someone who's applying now or a few months, about a month ago. <laughs> and that the 16 weeks be, might be for someone who is applying now. We don't, we don't know where these, these different timetables changed and why could be just seasonal and it could be just they're expecting a whole lot of applications at a certain time of year we just don't know yeah but we're glad we did talk to the post office and we recommend that you do that if you're having any problems and speak nicely they're yes, nice people <laughs> they are and they're overworked and they're not they're very short-staffed back to the lake again but we're up on a hill this time i hope you learned something from this video if you are going to be applying for passports or if you're just renewing them allow plenty of time um, it could you know like I said for us in our case it was nine months prior to them expiring but keep that six month rule and in mind if you're planning on going anywhere and you're getting close to the six month mark of them expiring you could be turned away which would not be fun <laughs> thanks for coming along with us Make sure you check out our Facebook page for the, um, the trails that we went on here at the John Muir Park. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Next to our little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for more features and other things we don't put on our YouTube channel. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.